Here I want you to watch how world champions submit other world champions. Bernardo here is using his famous patented over-under pass to pass Cyborg's guard. He does what I call a support hand entry into uh, his sliding collar series here where he's got both hands on those lapel grips of Cyborg. He's going to look to take the back right here. He's going to work to put his hooks in, but what I want you to pay close and special attention to is how he's going to go to S-mount and chair sit from here. Okay, so he has his hooks, but he needs a better angle to finish this strangle. So what he's going to do is he's going to put his top hook as a long hook, He's going to bring his bottom hook through, chair sit like you see him doing now, freeing that bottom leg. This allows him to go for the bow and arrow strangle from here. Okay, but black belts and especially world champions don't just have one submission that they're going for. Bernardo has a range of options here and he's going to use this to transform this position into an arm bar that he also has from this position. Okay, so he is already in perfect perpendicular control where he's lined up beautifully for the armbar, and he's going to use the bow and arrow attack to chain together his armbar attacks from here. And it's just a matter of time. All he needs to do now is just figure out the best way to break this grip, which it takes him a second to do, but he does, and he will get the submission. This is what I try to show and explain in my Submission Land instructional, that we take the highest percentage submissions of all time and we chain them together so you can attack with one after the next, after the next, after the next. And that's what you see champions like Bernardo Faria doing here now. You'll see how the rest of these moves in this series are all interconnected. So a great example of this is how the bow and arrow choke is deeply connected in with the armbar. And a great example of this is if you look at Bernardo Faria versus Cyborg. I think it was like 2014 Worlds or something. Um, so go down to Alberto where he connected the bow and arrow and the, um, and the armbar beautifully. I love the bow and arrow option because it allows me to get perpendicular in my perpendicular control on him, which is exactly the same control that I need for the arm lock. So I'm looking to go into the same exact position right here that we have the, the bow and arrow in. Now what they're going to be doing for their life to defend this, okay? The beauty of this, these grips up here, is Alberto can't break this grip. It's too close to his neck. Go ahead, Alberto. As hard as you want, try to take that grip off. Go ahead, for real, for real. I have almost zero strength and it's gonna be impossible for him to break this grip, okay? It's too close and I'm already behind him. So the only chance Alberto has is when I am going back this way to loop his head out of the strangle. So let's actually face this way a little bit, Alberto, so the camera can see us a little bit better. So I'm going here and I have this perpendicular angle. For Alberto's life, of course I want to try to keep good elbow position and hide it and make sure this never happens. But for Alberto's life, he's going to reach back with both of his hands and he's going to reach for my arm here and he's going to pull this over his head. And if he's successful in doing this, he's out of the sliding collar strangle. He escapes successfully. But I have a great follow-up option for him from here. So I'm going, I'm looking for this bow and arrow strangle. I'm tr I try to keep my elbow tight, okay? But it doesn't always work out. For his life, he's going to look to grab with both of his hands. Go ahead, Alberto. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from instead of controlling his lapel, I'm gonna control his sleeve. Okay, so now when Alberto brings the hands over his head, I bring my leg over his head. And I have the, his secondary arm controlled here, and we have direct relation right to the arm bar. Okay, so one more time, we're in the bow and arrow right here. Alberto goes to try to take this over. 
I go, okay, let's do an arm bar instead. Okay, and practice this one a couple times with your drilling partners, guys, and put this into your arsenal because it's too effective of a move not to have. One more time, Alberto tries to take the arm off and he puts himself in an arm bar instead. And you'll see how all of these moves incredibly connect with another.